Hello everyone and welcome to my next reaction to Black Mirror. I have loved the first three episodes of this season so far. I think it's been um, three very different episodes but all very good so I hope that continues with this one and the next one um, and I'm, I'm ready to see what we're gonna be focusing on in this one. And you know, as per usual, dreading it a little bit as well. We'll see how mentally scarring this one will be. All right, let's get into it. Tom and Katie have issued a statement naming their new baby Surrey. That's yeah. what folks, Surrey Cruz, according to the Going students, back a little bit. To you? Oh. For the agency? <laughs> For those pictures. Five hundred dollars? Please. TV's Justin Camley enjoys a little afternoon delight with a male buddy. Ah. Okay. You know I don't like to judge other people's lifestyle choices. Mm. But I have really delicate sinuses. Oh. And when you fry garlic and ginger, it just makes the whole apartment a little acrid. Yeah, sure. I'll, um, yeah, I'll open the window, Nathan. Thank you so much. Yeah. For Received Tranquility star Justin Canley has been found dead in his Hollywood Hills home. TMZ are reporting he was found hanged in an apparent suicide. Uh. This whole Justin Cammy situation is sad as shit, Bo, but it's not your fault. All right. You're just doing Can't say I sympathize with the guy. Willie, come on. I'm sorry, but did someone force him to become an actor? Willie, shut the fuck up. I want his face out there, the money and the rest of it, and then I'm My limo guy says he's got Sidney Alberti in the back. Slutty Alberti. Slutty Alberti. <laughs> this is absolutely a profession. That makes me very uncomfortable. Hey, hey, hey. This way, you skank! I love your sex tape! Fucking whore! You mean the shit tape in my fucking face? Come on, you fucking face! That was assault! I've got witnesses! It seems like it's getting to her, too. I can... I can imagine that there's a very specific type of person who can do a job like that. Would not be me. At school, we can, we can happy. Oh! I don't know that this is going to help the, you know, perfecting the accent, but you never know. Oh! Oh, no, 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 sweetie, this is a bad idea, bad idea, oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh boy, this is, oh, so bad, so bad. Oh my goodness, I don't, oh shit. Is that a person? I can't actually tell. Should I just leave the guy there? I think it was a person. Or, or, girl, or woman. I don't know. I have no idea. Bro, this closed. I go around. What did he, what did he say? They found man in the road. That's a man. Man? Mm. They think he done it on. This is really hard for me. I'm not good at confrontation, so my therapist suggested that I use cue cards. Oh. And... <clears throat> you got this. As you know, mm -hmm. your share of the rent is late. Mm. And while I truly value our friendship, <laughs> please, I do not feel it is appropriate for me to financially support <laughs> I'll get the money. 
Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right, you did great, sweetie. What's up, Bo? Having your heard? You know the dogs are loud? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Help you with what? Amazing day. You like this? Yeah. Easy day. What about her? You know, she's filming in Czechoslov somewhere, one of those, um, started day drinking, erratic behavior, stopped showing up to set. She got kicked off a movie set two weeks ago, flew home, and no one's seen her since. Not home, nowhere. And so everybody's just cool with leaving her alone, then? Nick's offering 30K for the first photo of her. Oh, wow. 30K? 40, if you catch her looking like a junkie. I've been, um, hitting up all my peeps, but... Oh, um, I think I have some money in my purse. It's okay. Mr. G said, well, you're a guest in this house. He's left money to cover everything. She says she orders here every week? Mm-hmm. Come on. She so does. Saw her yesterday. Really? She's staying at some, like, producer's house. Goodness. It has taken you over. And you must be humble in the face of it. I've arranged a place that we could take you private out of town for just for a few days. You need isolation. Dr. Cabbage? Can you get me better? What's about getting you to tonight? And then the next night? Let me see. Oof. Fuck on the way. Fuck. Oh! What the fuck? Fuck! Wow. I guess you could use a coffee. Or a beer? Do you know anyone with a tow truck around here? Car trouble? Yeah. He came by here this morning. He'll be gone for the day. Would he come if I called him? No, I mean, uh, no. Gone for the day. Oh. Uh, the only place near here is the Cedarwood Retreat. That's really more like a rehab place. A rehab? Yeah, both are like rich hippie types, you know? <sighs> it's a new age for my blood. Oh, Maybe they have a... He says someone hired the entire complex for the weekend. A whole place? All the staff sent home. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, no, no, no. Come on, come on. I just got here. That was a long-ass ride. We don't have time for a soda? You want a soda or you want Maisie Day? Yeah, that's what I thought. Thank oh, you. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Is that Wade's car? Did you tell him? No, did you fucking tell no. him? No. Oh, boy. Hey, ladies. Where'd you put it, huh? Underneath my seat? Uh, where's what? Your fucking tracker's what? I think of it as an unpaid informant. It's under the gas tank. Oh, my. Door's opening. Is he carrying a rivet gun? Fuck. That's a guy to slash my tires. Busy days here. Okay, my friends, that's the major Babbage, specialist doctor of the stars. Oh, the big addiction guy. Isn't Babbage into like holistic voodoo or some shit? Is he even a doctor? Or Hollywood, just about. Voodoo? Is she chained? something on her neck. Is that a fucking chain? That's Is that what a I fucking thought. chain around her neck? Okay, That's sure. what I thought. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Looks like Babbage shackles are up for the cold turkey. That's fucking illegal, Hector. Oh my goodness. Oh, 
understand that. Um, also, there might be a reason she's trained up. So much for sexy shots. You gotta go. They say a lot of shit. Okay. Oh no, I don't know that you should do that. Why? 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 Uh, you don't understand. No! Run! Run away! <gasps> She's a werewolf. She's a werewolf. I guess that's why they didn't like really show who she hit. I would get out of the um oh yeah. As soon as that started happening, I mean I wouldn't be there in the first place. Who are we kidding? I mean come on. But oh my goodness. You guys, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm gonna get eaten, sir. I'm gonna get eaten. Oh, well. Woo! My word! Oh no, I don't know, sir. What do you say earlier? If you're gonna enter the game, deal with the consequences. <gasps> oh no! Oh boy! Oh, oh! Here she comes. frying chicken, you know, you're gonna saute it, you're gonna bake it, you're gonna, but it's gotta be done, you know, people die. I don't know that that's gonna work, I think she can just smash through one of those big ass fucking windows. I will momentarily, man, but first, you, you need to calm down, take a few deep breaths, settle down, we can figure out how we're gonna move forward from this. I will do that momentarily. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. oh, 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 oh,
Um, so she was probably confused, but she also, there were drugs in her system and stuff like that. So maybe she thought, you know, she was hallucinating at the moment or whatever. And then it probably, you know, obviously there were little clues throughout, you know, the, all of the furniture being a complete mess um, and all of that. But, I, you know, as much as I do expect twists from Black Mirror. I'm not entirely sure I was, you know, looking for the the werewolf twist, you know, I did think and and it and it still did focus on this, but I did think that this was going to be more about, you know, paparazzi and and the damage that does and everything like that and we'll get into that, but I you know, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, I I I don't even I don't know how I feel about the, the werewolf twist. I'm not, I really don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. But um, let's talk about, I guess, more so the commentary on wanting access to these famous people, the fascination with it, the need to know about their personal lives and so on and so forth. I, I, I really don't comprehend it too much. It's something that I'm genuinely not very interested in when it comes to, you know, like even the dating life of certain singers or actors or whatever. Um, I just, I, I've never really been fascinated with that type of stuff. Um, so it is interesting and I know that these people exist and maybe, uh, you're one of these people who think if you put yourself in the public eye as an entertainer of some kind or even a YouTuber or whatever that you think that that, um, you know, you're, you're open up to, um, all sorts of criticism, people getting access to you. I mean, there's all sorts of different layers of all of this, right? Um, I remember one of my favorite, um, I won't say who, actors or actresses got a lot of heat in something that they were in within the past couple of years. And they got a lot of heat for not being attractive enough. And I thought, that was the most ridiculous thing. It, just, it blows me away. But a lot of the people who were really tearing down this actress or actor for not being attractive enough for whatever role they were playing, their mentality and a lot of their defense was, if you're going to be an actor, you subject yourself to be torn down because of your looks. You subject yourself to be completely picked apart and stuff like that. And I'm not kidding. It was a very large vocal portion of a fandom that was saying this. And it just really, I was like flabbergasted by it. And I was just like, I don't know. I don't personally agree with that sentiment. But a lot of people do, and it's odd to me. And I, you know, um, but I do know that there's a lot of people who, you know, they get a lot of, um, you know, tabloids are a thing, paparazzi photos are a thing. Like, people um, like getting access. And I think it might be, especially when somebody in the public eye is very rich and famous, um, people have like a, a weird fascination with wanting to know that their life isn't all that great. You know, there's something satisfying about that, I guess. I don't know. It's so bizarre to me. And I just don't know how, I don't know how you get into that profession, but you know, all people are different. I personally, I don't think I could ha handle it and or live with myself. I don't know. I don't, 
uh, that's just how I feel about it. Um, but I have, you know, even on a, my level, which is not that much in the public eye, I, I have dealt with people before that um, have tried to like get access to personal things about me, private things about me, because you know, they, they believe that if you put yourself out there, then, you know, there's, there's stuff that they are owed, things that they want to know about you, and it's very bizarre, and it's, um, I don't know, it, it really, truly, I've even gotten a small dose of that kind of stuff, and it, it's very... I don't entirely understand it. But anyway, this was an interesting story. I think I, I don't, I, I'll get back to you guys about how I feel about this werewolf twist. I, I wasn't really, that's not where I was focusing in on. I, I didn't, you know, until they were sort of approaching the like cabin where she was chained up and everything. Um, that's when I was sort of clocking it, but but I, I kind of wish maybe, I don't know, I'll get back to you on how I felt about that. I guess I kind of wish that it was more about the, and I, it was, the, you know, um, the paparazzi angle and that final shot of her. I mean, so at, at the end of the day, it was about that, you know, um, the final, you know, shot of her picking up the camera and taking the photo as she shoots her, oh my god, I don't, uh, I don't get it, I don't, I don't, I don't know that I would be, I probably, um, maybe would have handed her the gun, and then ran as fast as I could, <laughs> somewhere else, I don't know, but I, again, wouldn't have been in that situation in the first place. Anyway. Unless I was just at that diner. For whatever reason. Whew. Okay. Um, I don't even know. <laughs> I guess that's I guess that's all I have to say. Alright. Um, if you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I would really appreciate it. But if not, I'm just happy that you are here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.